Hey everybody, welcome back. If you're new, I'm Tanya. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. On this channel, I love to share with you my craft ideas and I love to experiment. And if you're into that sort of thing, then consider subscribing. So for today's video, I'm gonna be trying out a new product that I came across on Amazon. So I have done videos in the past where I did the DTF sublimation hack using the Yamation DTF film, but Yamation has this pack out. It is called their DTF effect film, and it has 30 sheets. And for the 30 sheets, it has six different types. All right. So you're going to get, um, sorry, they have five different types in it and each and each type has six sheets so it has the glitter DTF film so i've tried the glitter and their regular film but this pack has glow in the dark it has holographic it has gold and it has chameleon now the one that really got me was the gold i am curious i'm really curious to see how this is going to turn out do I have to use the gold only on white if I'm using sublimation ink or will the gold kind of show up on black? So tonight is actually an experiment. We're trying out something. Um, if you've tried the, the gold DTF film from your mission before, just put it in the comments. Tell me what you thought about it. Did you ever try it on black? I don't know if it's going to work. So we're going to try that out today. So let's open up the package and take a look at each of the films. But tonight we're focusing on the gold one. So as usual, the Yamation film tells you this, um, the print side. So you don't have to worry about that. But if you get it mixed up, um, there's always a matte side and a gloss side. And you always print on the, um, the matte side. Let's take a look at the gold the feature of tonight. So I have a black tote bag here. So I've experimented on this tote bag lots of times. So we're gonna experiment on it because I'm really wondering if the gold will show up on it. Um, this is meant for DTF ink where you'd have that white backing. So for sure the gold will show up on the black, but will the gold show up on the black if I'm using sublimation ink behind it? I really want to know that. So let's open it up and examine it a little bit closer. All right. So this side is matte and this side is shiny. So when you look at it, you can definitely see this is the side that the gold is on. So um, I'm looking at it and the gold, it's, it's kind of transparent, right? It's not a, it's not like a thick gold foil kind of look that would suggest that, hey, maybe the, it would stand up to the black. So looking at it, no, I'm suspecting that maybe the, all the black will come right through, but we're going to try it. No, I'm thinking, okay, what color ink would I put behind? Put on this to support it do I use a black ink when you're using DTF you're definitely putting a white ink behind it so you're going to be printing out with your white ink I believe and so the gold will definitely stand out so I don't know should I use a black ink should I use a yellow ink the lightest possible color that you can get so I am um, so I'm thinking what I'm going to do, I'm going to print in both black and I'm going to print in maybe an orangey yellow to get as bright a color behind this as possible and then see um, if I can transfer the gold to the black without using um, a DTF ink. Can the sublimation ink work? So that's all of what we're trying tonight. And so I'm going to print on this matte side with my sublimation ink and I'm going to use a black ink and I'm going to use a yellow ink. All right. And, um, so it won't be anything fancy. I'm just going to type some text and print that out. And I'm going to be using the Yamation DTF powder. I am going to be using my Vivor seven, um, by six easy press. So without further ado, let's just jump down to the table 
and start prepping everything. So I'm gonna go and send something to the printer and we'll get this show on the road. My print is out. So I'm just gonna quickly go ahead and cut this off. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this off and I'm gonna lay down my powder on it right away. All right, so my Vivor heat press is ready. I'm telling you, this guy heats up super fast too. So I have two blacks, I have two blacks and two yellows because even though I'm testing this out on white, I really, sorry, I'm testing it out on black. I really want to see how it works. So. We're going to throw a white t-shirt in the middle of it to see how this works. All right, so let's set this one aside for now. And we're just going to flip this over. And don't burn yourself. And get this right on top of it for a little bit. Just to get it to cure. We're going to go ahead and press on the black and see how the gold turns out. All right, so let me just grab some Teflon. Let's grab this. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead. So this is what it looks like, the right side up. All right, so let's go ahead and heat this up. So let's lay it down. And let's put the Teflon over it. All right. And of course, it's a cold peel. So we're just going to set it aside and let it cool down. While we're doing that, we're going to go ahead and press the gold onto a, to something white. All right. So I have another tester shirt. Um, I just preheated it. So let's go ahead and use this one. So I didn't cure this one, but it's fine. Let's just place it and see how it turns out. All right. So again, another 25 seconds. Done. And let's set this one aside to cool and let's hope the other one is ready. So let's just set this one aside. So this is supposed to look gold. I don't know if it's going to work because this is designed for DTF ink. And I'm just seeing if the DTF sublimation hack would work with it. So let's go ahead. Ooh, it's gold. Guys, it worked. Whether you're using the black ink or the gold. All right, so I have a lot of specs here. I guess I had some powder. So make sure that you dust off the powder really well for this because I have a lot of specs here from where I had some powder um, getting on around it. But it actually... It worked for both of them, but it actually turned out better for the lighter color. You can see some of that black ink coming through the yellow, coming through the gold, sorry. But for hair where I use the um, yellow, it's actually brighter because that yellow actually complements the gold. So this is it. This one is the black ink. So from here, you can see... Some of that black ink is coming through. Here, it's actually sharper because we use yellow ink as the base. Um, so you can see all my little gold specks. So I have to just um, probably get like a little makeup brush and make sure I'm dusting away as much of that DTF powder as possible so I don't transfer all of those little gold specks. But look at it. It came out on the black. Let's go ahead and peel that off so definitely 
do not use the black. It's more obvious on the white that that black ink is going to stand out. Okay, so I'm really glad I did it on the white so that we can see that. So what you want to do is use your yellow ink, your yellow ink to come to complement it. That's what you're going to do. Although it depends on the look you're going for, because when you use the black ink, you can see that gold. Um, you see that? That gold sparkling on top of the black. So I guess it depends on the effect that you're going for. And again, for this one, um, yeah, my ink smudged. Hey, y'all. So what do you think? That was pretty cool, right? That was a cool experiment. And I was worried that it would not show up on the black but it really came out nicely on the black. We just want to make sure that we're brushing away the excess um, DTF powder so that we don't transfer unnecessary pieces of the gold. And we can see the different effects, the way it turns out with, on the black versus the white. And it's gonna turn out differently based on the ink that you put behind it. Um, it's made for DTF ink and so usually you would have your white ink behind that gold and so i kind of thought yeah maybe i should use the lightest color ink that we have which is yellow available to us and um maybe i should have tried a gray i don't know maybe we could do some more tests with a gray a pale gray see if it pops up anymore but i think that from these two experiments the yellow complemented the gold film and the black, you could choose to use black ink behind it depending on the effects you're looking for. So I do think this was a success. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If it was good for you, be sure to give it a like so that it can be shared with others and it helps the channel. So thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next one.